Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring a quick video talking about my experience at Grand Rapids Comic Con. I live in Michigan and uh, this is the only uh, con I can really make it to, you know, with uh, you know, a bit of money in my pocket. So we did go there today and particularly to meet a certain cast member from Z Nation. Of course, my girlfriend's in the background Hi. there. But, uh, yeah, we went to particular to me, uh, Russell Hodgkinson, who plays uh, Doc on Z Nation, and you know, for me, if you know me at all, you know how special these shows are to me, how much I actually invest and care about them, and so to me, like any of them really means a lot to me, and he's the first one I've ever met from any of my shows I watch, and I'm just going to swipe through the pictures my girlfriend took on her phone, hopefully you can see them alright for what they are, and if you want to see them a little bit better, just go to my Facebook page. Which is uh, which there is a link to below, and there's one picture there of the three of us. I'll swipe to the other one real quick. Okay, there you go. Yeah, he is a very very cool, humble, nice guy. He was a real joy to talk to and to interact with. Um, when we went up to his booth to meet him, he he actually got up from the table, you know, to stand there and actually have a conversation with us and interact. Uh, you know, he's come across it in a very good way. And we went to his uh, panel a few hours later and got to ask him a few questions, so that was really cool. We got to hear him talk about Z Nation, why the apocalypse should be a good time, and things like that. So it's a really fun experience I'm not going to be forgetting. Um, so yeah, it's a really uh, special day for me just because of that on its own. Um, but of course, uh, you know, yeah, different vendors, you know, tons of stuff to, you know, look at, you know, that we're being sold and stuff, you know, from figures to different little bits of merchandise to shirts. Um, and I should also uh, show that I also got my uh, Z Nation Season 2 DVD signed by uh, Russell as well. Very cool. It was fun. Mm hmm. Do you want to be in the video? I'm just kind of like here, so I just did like background commentary. Mm-hmm. You know, just me and my egg butts, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe she'll do her own video on her channel. Egg butts! But anyway, I just want to show some stuff I did buy real quick. Uh, it's my boatload of money, I'm not going to lie. And, you know, there's a ton of stuff I, of course, wanted to get, but pretty much it's a situation where I should have saved, like, double the money I did. <laughs> Um, because they had a lot of different uh, Godzilla Japanese, you know, from Japan uh, that they were charging from like, you know, upwards of like 80 bucks or more. Um, ton of stuff I would like to get, but, you know, now I know for next time, just gotta save a, a little bit more ahead of time. Um, but still got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, well, for one, I got this uh, Supernatural shirt. This is a custom print, I think. But either way, uh, Supernatural is one of my favorite TV shows of all time now, for sure. If you guys have been watching, you know, I'm, uh, I'm forced, well, I'm uh, almost on a season five. I already love it, and so I had to get a shirt. I also got a poster in the mail today, which uh, I'll, you know, I'll show when I review season five coming up within the next few days for sure. But yeah, really cool. Of course, we got Sam and Dean, and to go with that, it kind of turned into a whole supernatural thing, honestly. Um, I got this little uh, pen. Cool. And then I also got a Supernatural Wallet. So there you go, it's pretty nice. Open it up. So yeah. And then uh, basically just to tie more in the Supernatural, I also got the Sam and Dean Funko Pops. So yeah, you know, pretty simple looking, but I still had to get some, uh, you know, get the two of the brothers anyway. For you. Plan on getting uh, Castiel and Crowley, Bobby, and Charlie eventually, but I'd at least get two of these guys. And next, I guess, if I don't strain myself first, um, I also got the TV series uh, Funko Pop of Negan right here. Of course, based off of uh, JBM, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Uh, premiere this Sunday, review will be up uh, you know, pretty soon after the episode airs. Um, looking forward to and dreading it <laughs> at the same time, but. He's already nailed the role, so I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, play the character. So that was cool to get. This one was just uh, released not too long ago, too, I think. Um, then he also, uh, I also picked up this, uh, I think this is made by uh, Funko as well. 
Um, this is another Tyrion uh, Lannister figure. Um, you know, I've reviewed the uh, Battle Armor one and the Hound figure on my channel. And this one's probably my favorite I've seen. Um, I thought Battle Armor one was actually pretty decent, but I feel like the likeness in the face actually turned out better on this one to Peter Dinklage. And I just wanted to get him in his right, you know, more normal, uh, you know, attire, you know, at least in the earlier seasons. So, this is a cool pickup. It's only about 10 bucks. Oh, yeah, so that's cool to find. And then I also picked up the uh, NECA Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, Freddy Krueger. So there you go. You know, it comes with uh, various accessories from certain uh, dream sequences in the film. And I am uh, planning on actually reviewing the uh, Dream Warriors film uh, for Halloween, or at least uh, before Halloween. Um, because I reviewed the first two movies, I always felt a little bit odd. I didn't get to the third one at least. But yeah, very happy to have this to add to my uh, horror figure collection. Looks very cool. I also have the new Nightmare one there. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of partial to this movie, so I grabbed this. And then I also got the uh, complete Rulers of Earth Godzilla series by IDW. Um, I did a review of the uh, first volume quite a while ago. But this is just a much better deal. We got, actually got this at a local comic book store in the Grand Rapids area. And you could pretty much get the entire series for 10 bucks more um, than just like one volume would be. Um, so, you know, this just makes uh, so much more sense. Um, so maybe once I do actually finish uh, reading all of it, I will do like a video on the series as a whole. But yeah, I really do enjoy it. You know, our artwork's pretty nice, and it's just a bunch of chaos, uh, monster action all the way through. So it's definitely a treat for a Godzilla fan, I think. But yeah, that's all I got as far as I remember anyway. Um, but yeah, I just want to do this quick video, and I apologize on my uh, Z Nation and Van Helsing reviews will be a little bit later. But you know, please understand, I was actually uh, occupied with you know, a little bit of a life for a change, uh, so that was nice. Um, but TV shows are my life, and I will be getting those reviews uh, out to you guys as soon as possible, um, as well as the uh, review for the season 8 premiere of The Vampire Diaries. Most of those will be out tomorrow or by uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for all that this weekend. Peace.